Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing. In this video, I wanna talk about creating remarketing audiences for YouTube ads. Now, this video is part of a course that I have, so you might hear me reference other videos that might be coming up or something like that. Uh, you can ignore that part. The content in this video is gonna be good, solid content that I think you'll find helpful, which is why I'm publishing it here on YouTube. Let's get into it. In this video, we're gonna discuss Google Ads remarketing audiences. And again, this is just kind of like an overview video of how to set up these audiences and where to go and what to click on and things like that. Again, we'll cover strategy when we talk about campaign strategy because audiences, of course, and who you're targeting is critically important to the success of your advertising efforts. But I wanted to give you an overview uh, before we get into the strategy. So let's go ahead and talk about re remarketing audiences. And I've mentioned this before, but remarketing equals retargeting. Google calls it remarketing, but same thing as retargeting. Basically, these are audiences of people that have engaged with your business in some sort of way, shape, or form, whether they went to your website or bought something or opted in for something, or they watched a video on YouTube, right? So anybody that's engaged with you before can go into a remarketing list. So let's come up to tools and settings and audience manager. And what we wanna do is come over to remarketing right here at the very top. Uh, in the next video or one of the follow on videos, we'll talk about custom audiences, but we're doing remarketing now and we're right here and we wanna do create a remarketing list. And so here's our options. We have website visitors, app users, YouTube users, customer list, and then custom combination. And we're just gonna go through these options real quick in this video, basically. All right, let's go to website visitors. So this is pretty self-explanatory, right? Uh, this is gonna create a remarketing list of people that have visited your website. So here are the options we have. So visitors of a page, uh, visitors of a page who also visited another page, visitors of a page who did not visit another page, visitors of a page during specific dates, visitors of a page with specific tags. So you see there's a bunch of different options here. And I wanna point out real quick, when we're setting up our campaigns and our targeting within those campaigns, we can include and exclude various audiences when we're setting up our campaigns. So by using inclusions and exclusions when you're setting up your targeting, you can create even more like targeting options, right? That's what I was trying to say. So anyway, this is all pretty self-explanatory. So let's just go with visitors of a page. And then moving on down here, we have another option. So we can match any rule group or match every rule group. And if you notice, basically it just changed this from an and to an or and vice versa. So of course you can do whatever makes sense for your the audience you're trying to create. But it's pretty, I mean, self-explanatory, right? So page URL, refer URL or event. So you can create it based up to those options there. So page URL contains, equals, starts with, ends with, does not contain, does not equal, does not start with, does not end with. So, so self-explanatory stuff. So let's say I wanna do for my, the sales funnel book. That's what I wanna go ahead and target people that have visited my sales funnel book page. Now it gives you an audience size list and usually I think if it's under a thousand people, like it just says less than a thousand people, or in my case, I, you know, I just set up my pixel and my cookie and everything and I haven't had traffic going through it. So uh, I have a zero here and this could be okay, right? Now, if I had my pixel installed on my website for a long time and it was still saying zero, then something's probably funky. Either my pixel's not working, which isn't good obviously, or something over here, I, I must have clicked the wrong box or I used the and when I should have used the or or something like that, right? So hopefully you see something there um, or you can explain why you have zero. All right, moving on down here. Um, so we have pre-fill options. So we can pre-fill the list with people who match the rules within the past 30 days. So this is pretty handy. Let's say you put the pixel on your website and then you know two weeks later, you decide that you wanna go ahead and create an audience of people that have been to the Sales Funnel Book page. And basically what this option lets you do is go back in time and get those people that visited the page in the last two weeks and add them to this list. So that's pretty handy. And that way you're not starting with a list from scratch now, if you do wanna start with a list from scratch, you can just select this option right here. Start with an em empty list, and of course, then starting from whenever you created the audience till uh, whatever your time frame is, you'll have those people on your list. Anyway, I'm gonna go back in time uh, to add people. Membership duration, so enter the number of days someone stays in this audience. So, you know, depending on your strategy, it could be one day, it could be up to 540 days. So, just depends. I'll go seven days right here. 
and then description. So if you wanna do a detailed description about this list, you could go ahead and add it here, but it's optional. And then of course we gotta name it. So I'll just say visited a sales funnel book sales page and then seven days. All right, so that's my, my audience name. And then I just hit create audience and boom, just like that, I have a, a remarketing audience of people that landed on my sales funnel book sales page. So pretty cool stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and create another audience. So click the plus button and we have app users. So if you have an app and you're connecting it to Google ads, then you can go through this process here and you know connect it. I'm not familiar with this process, but if you have an app, hopefully you can understand based off of these options here, they're you know, simple options like all users of an app. So you know that's pretty self-explanatory what that means or took specific actions within an app. So if you have an app, I assume you know how to integrate it with Google ads and select the appropriate options. So moving back out here, we'll go to YouTube users. So of course it's gonna be pretty popular because we're creating YouTube ads and we wanna target people that are browsing our YouTube channel, browsing our YouTube videos, uh, YouTube ads, all that stuff. So list members, again, we have viewed any video from a channel. So if you have a channel and you have people watching it organically or paid uh, watchers like via ads, then you can go ahead and add them to a list viewed certain videos. So if you have like different categories of videos, for example, I have like Facebook videos, uh, YouTube videos, ClickFunnels videos, active campaign videos. So I can create custom um, remarketing audiences for people that watch, you know, Facebook ad videos. And then I have a list of people that like Facebook ad stuff. So you can see how that kind of works. Viewed any video as an ad from a channel, viewed certain videos as ads, subscribe to a channel, visited a channel, liked any video from a channel, edited any video from a channel to a playlist, shared any video from a channel. So all self-explanatory options. I'm just gonna do viewed any video from a channel. I'm gonna go ahead and select this viewed certain videos option real quick. And then you gotta go ahead and select your YouTube channel and we've already integrated it so it popped up here. And then you notice that it says I have zero videos and that's because I have zero videos that are public right now, but I did go ahead and upload one just for this demonstration purposes and it's a private video. So I can go ahead and grab this link right here, copy it and I can paste it here. And there's my video, so I can select that option. You can add multiple videos if you want to as well. Um, and that's how you go ahead and create a list of people that watch certain videos. Makes sense, right? All right, same pre-fill type options. So last 30 days, start with empty list, you know, select what's relevant, number of days. All right, very cool, membership duration. And then watched, and then, and scroll on down here and I'll hit create. And so there we go, we have another custom remarketing audience. So pretty simple stuff. Uh, we also have customer list right here. So this is only available for individuals that have spent, I think $50,000 or more on ads. Um, and we can look at it right here. And yeah, so you have to have more than 50,000 lifetime spend in order to unlock this privilege. But obviously it could be very powerful. I mean, you just take your list, your email list or your customer list and you can upload it into Google ads here and then create a list of people that you know have bought stuff or are on a list. So that's pretty handy. Um, but of course you do have to meet their, their policies and their requirements, which includes spending $50,000 before you can unlock it. So not everyone's gonna have access to that, at least not for a while. And then we do have custom combination, which could be kind of cool. You could, you know, come up with some different options. So if they've, you know, visited the sales funnel book page and then they've watched this video right here and we can make this an and statement. So they have had to have done both of these things, visited the sales funnel book sales page and watch a sales funnel vault ad. And you can get more creative by adding more options down here. So you can do a whole lot of different stuff. And then throw in the fact that when you're creating your targeting options, you can add inclusions and exclusions. So, you know, you can, you can target like anyone based off of anything that they've done in any sort of situation. Now, you probably won't do that because it, it gets very com complicated and convoluted and all that type of stuff. But I just wanted to show you that it is out here. And if you do have a unique situation where you need to combine things, then this is how you could go ahead and do it. And that's pretty much it for this video. We went through the different remarketing audience options. It's pretty simple, self-explanatory stuff. The hard part was getting the pixel like on your properties and firing properly. 
And, but then once you have that, creating these audiences is a piece of cake.